hello folks welcome back to the channel here pro fire outdoors tonight as you can see it's starting to fall dark here so i'm heading out to some foxes still very early days yet but uh, some of these foxes have been spotted in the lamb fields just on the edge of dark so i said to get off work early and head up here and see what we can see so tonight i'm using my CZ 527 and 223 on top of that Alpex F50T on top of that the PBIR <laughs> absolutely great bit of kit oh, here's the little guys we're protecting the night here's the main reason why we're here this little guy right here born a couple of days ago so we're going to try and protect these sheep as best as possible into the field it wasn't long before he spotted my first fox just up to the left here two fields above from where these lambs and sheep are standing so I quickly got myself in a position to get ready to take a shot when I finally get moved up in a position it's like sod's law when there's not one there's two so the fox to my left had moved up the field almost heading away from me whereas to my right another fox had appeared heading almost towards me so it's a little bit like Sophie's choice, I didn't know what to go for, so I got myself sort of stuck in the middle between both of them and just waited to see which one would come close. Let's see what happens. So after dropping the first one, the second fox tried to make its way in, but unfortunately it didn't give me a shot. I got a glimpse of it through the hedge, but that was it. After clacking the fox off, I decided to head for high ground, almost backtracking on myself. Where again I spotted another fox to my far right just come from behind, little small heat patch. I head to my right to get in position to take a shot. To my surprise there was actually two in this field. I dropped the first one with a single shot, only to catch the clips of the eyes of the second one running away to my right. I decided to try and move, get in position to see if I can take a shot, but unfortunately it doesn't all go to plan. Just before heading home, I spot this fox coming down from a neighbouring farm. As you can see, the fox seemed to be in no rush to go anywhere or to be anywhere. So I decided to wait and just see what would happen. So that's me back in the van about to head home. Uh, good result tonight. Three foxes in the bag. Uh, first two foxes. First one definitely just five stone dead. Second one was the same, just rolled over. Uh, third one was as pretty as I would have liked it. Uh, I think I had too much time on the fox. I was downwind of the fox, seen it coming from three fields away, got in a nice position where I knew it was going to follow a path. Uh, almost took too too long on it to give it too much time. I think I was anticipating when it was going to stop. Should have made. I tried whistling. I tried shouting at it. It wouldn't stop. So I think I maybe rushed the shot before I lost the shot. And it just sort of hang on my missed the first two, but definitely can't hit on the third. You could see whenever it was running down the hill with the tail up that it was definitely hitting vitals. Uh, I made a walk down into the corner of that field, and the fox is lying 
the bottom of that field just in the ditch, you could just see the back end of it sticking up out of the ditch. So, uh, so good result tonight, that's three foxes took off a uh, small sheep farm. Uh, I did see a lot of foxes at sort of twilight area just before it com comes dark, so I think from now on what I'll do is I'll try and get up here a bit earlier. Obviously with the stretch in the evenings now, that'll be a bit easier. So I can get up a bit, early, a bit, a bit earlier, get myself set up, and just get ready for that uh, sort of dusk time whenever the foxes starting to seem to, seem to be more uh, frequent, moving around that farm at that time. Because after a certain after nine o'clock, they just seem to go dead. They moved on to certain another area. So, uh, and then if that doesn't work, I think I'm maybe uh, push towards maybe getting a base station set up. I haven't got one set up on that farm yet, but I think I'll talk to the farmer every tomorrow and see if it's okay. Um, see if we get me getting a base station set up there. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed the, the YouTube clip. If you liked it, make sure and leave a like down below, comment and make sure that subscribe button, it helps. And if, if you have Instagram as well, make sure you have the profile, doors your Instagram as well. Cheers and on to the next one. Thanks folks.